want to back up your Android to a Windows PC and transfer all your data like photos, videos, contacts, etc., then here's how to do it no matter which smartphone you have. If you're watching this video on a Samsung device, then click on this video instead, where we show you how to do it using the Samsung's official Smart Switch app. And if you're using any other Android devices, then first of all, it's not possible to backup data like accounts, contacts, or messages directly to your PC, which can be restored later. So if you want to backup every little data, then what you need to do is open settings, then scroll down and find Google, tap on all services, go down to backup and restore backup, and here you can turn on backup for photos and videos if you have enough storage. If you don't, just enable other devices data. Or if you're trying to move this data to a new Android, you can just select setup nearby device and basically clone all your data. With this aside, to transfer any other data like media files or app data to your PC, you can use a Type-C to Type-C or a Type-C to Type-A cable that supports data transfer. Now plug one end into your smartphone and the other end into your PC. After that, you should get a pop-up requesting USB file access. If you don't get it, just open your notification center, tap on the USB notification and choose the file transfer option. Now open the explorer and you should see your Android device's storage. Open it then go to the internal storage and what you can do is copy everything that's inside here and move it to your computer. Later, you can paste these contents into your Android when you need to restore the data. If you want to save app data, then you can head to the Android folder and all the app data can be copied from here. And if you just want to copy all your photos, videos or screenshots, then you can find them inside the dsim folder. If you made any other local folders, don't forget about them. And when you're done copying, you have successfully created a manual backup of your Android on your PC. That's all there is to it. Hope this helped and I'll see you around.